Hi, uh, I made a new project once again, and I want to talk to you about it. And before starting this project, I had like no clue how to do so, but somehow I managed to do it like really quickly because I was really like into it. My brain couldn't stop thinking about it during this week. And the thing I like the most about this project is that for once, it's actually useful. I'm using it every day, either on my personal project or at my work. And this is a big deal for me because I often spend a month on projects and when it's done, I just forget about it, never use them again. So I think it's really nice that this one, I'm using it like all day and I can see all those issues that I missed and somehow if something I don't like anymore or I want to add something new, I can do it by myself. And this process is actually very good for you too because you don't have to report all those issues that I missed. I'll see them every day and I probably face them because it's annoying to have like a project who's not working properly. So yeah, I think it's also awesome for you. And when I mean you, I'm talking about the 350 plus user that has downloaded my uh, project when I'm recording this video. And even if 350 is not that much for one of my project, for once, I think it's a success. <laughs> so if I didn't spoil in the thumbnail, you are probably wondering what is my extension? My project, <laughs> I spoiled it. <laughs> I'm so bad. So yeah, it's a VS Code extension. Hear me out. For me, I'm using VS Code every day on every project and I got so much problem when I try to develop new project with Unreal Engine on VS Code, obviously. So after a month facing all those issues, I just, I just went sick of them. One day I wake up and was just like, okay, I didn't wake up. It was just on my VS Code. I faced another issue and I was like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> But the result is that it just takes me over one week to achieve this extension and, and it's already useful. Yes, it's not all the feature that I thought it would be, but it's actually nice. So I'm stop boring you. Um, I'm just going to take you through all the features of my extension. Uh, my extension was called UVCH, like Unreal VS Code Helper. And yep, yeah, so that's the name. And now we can take a look at the features. Let's go. So after you install my extension, on the left side of your VS Code, there's a new button who showed up with the Unreal Engine logo. And when you click on it, there is two panels. The first panel is showing the information that my extension gathered on your current Unreal project. For example, I'm currently on a project called Multi on Unreal Engine 5. Hopefully you're going to heard about this particular project in a couple of months. Anyway, in the same panel, you also have a toolbar who lets you do like basic stuff, starting your game, starting your editor and build your project. Uh, but what's really interesting is just underneath on the second panel, this is currently my most advanced and also my most useful feature. It's pretty much like Google, but inside VS Code and only for Unreal documentation. So I'm still thinking about allowing more website than just the Unreal documentation website, but I'm not quite sure. So currently just Unreal documentation website. So you can search for any keyword related to Unreal Engine and the documentation of this keyword gonna show up. Since writing a keyword is pretty slow, you have some shortcut to go faster, like do a quick search or even open directly the right documentation page, depending on the word that you selected in your editor. So you don't have to type it anymore. I tried to do some benchmark to quantify a bit how faster it was with my extension. As I remember, it was almost two times faster, but I'm not quite sure, so I'm gonna show you the real number. But for me, the most important was that you stay on your VS Code and you've never been redirected to your browser or whatever. And this is unique to UVCH. Um, okay, and for the final feature, it's not on those panels, but instead it's on the bottom right corner and it's showing which file are matching with the one you are currently editing. Like, let's say you're on your CPP file, it's gonna show you like your header file and you just have to press either the shortcut or the button on the bottom to uh, switch between those two. So that's not unique at all, but it's still really useful to have it like in the all-in-one package in my extension. By the way, if there's any feature that you don't want in this extension, you can just go on the setting and turn them off. This would provide more space for the other that you actually care about. For example, if you don't need the switching feature because you already have an extension to do the same, you can just disable it uh, mine and everything works fine. So currently that's with Stan. Uh, you can download it on the marketplace. You don't have to. If you're not using VS Code, there's no point. So yeah, I think there's nothing else to say. Thank you for watching and everything. Go and uh, see you. Bye.